Let's make some fire cider for cold and flu season. Welcome back to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill and we are going to make fire cider because the flu season and cold season is just around the corner. So this is gonna help you ward off some of that. So there are many different ways that you could make this, but essentially the cider part is apple cider vinegar and you wanna get a really good organic raw apple cider vinegar because that has the most nutrients in it. And then you wanna select your, uh, your herbs and stuff things that are really fiery, like hot peppers, ginger, turmeric, garlic, cinnamon. These things are really kind of fiery and it's gonna rev up your immune system and your digestive system and help you ward off sickness. So you also need a big jar like this that has like a canning lid of some type. And then we're gonna jump in. So I, I did one large red onion because the red onions have more nutrition in them than the white onion, but you could, if all you have is white onion, go ahead and use those. But I'm just gonna use the red. So I'm putting those in first, and the order doesn't matter either. I just like layering it so that you can kind of see each thing, and to kind of make it a little bit pretty, because this is gonna be sitting on your countertop for quite a while. So I'm gonna go onions first, and then I'm gonna do, uh, this is ginger, so I just, washed it off really good, and then I just slice it, sliced it into slices. So this is about a half a cup of sliced ginger. I'm gonna kind of put that towards the outside because I really like how those little sliced pieces look. Okay, then we're gonna go for the turmeric. The same thing, I just wash them really well and I slice them in slices. You could also chop it up really small if you wanted to. It would probably actually release more of its nutrients into that, the fire cider, but I just, I think this is just so pretty. Seeing all the different colors and the layers in here. So I try to kind of push the, the little slices out towards the front, you know, towards the edge of the jar so that you can see it. Okay, then I have hot peppers. So I have one whole jalapeno and one serrano pepper. This is completely up to you how spicy you want to go. You could do scotch bonnets or any kind of like our habanero peppers if you can get them. I'm going to go kind of middle of the line because jalapenos are a little bit milder. Serranos are a little bit hotter just to give it that really fiery uh, burn. Same thing, kind of layering them so you can see them a little bit. Then I have a whole cup of cranberries and I just found the frozen bag of cranberries at the store and I sliced them in half while they were frozen because they're easier to chop or easier to slice. And that's gonna give it a that beautiful, oops, beautiful red color. And they are just loaded with antioxidants. Okay. Then we have a, one lemon, and I got an organic lemon because we're leaving the skins on. If you, don't if you can't get an organic lemon, make sure you scrub that, the peel really well. And I just sliced it pretty thin, and I like to put it around, you know, same thing, kind of layering it a little bit, just so you can see it on the edge. And then I'll put the rest of the other pieces kind of down in the center. And you don't have to cut off. I'm gonna put the ends too, the ends of the lemons, but I'll put those in the center because you're not gonna see those. Oops. And you don't have to press down. I wouldn't press down. You're just layering it in there. Okay. And then I have five cloves of garlic that I just peeled and I just kind of lightly mashed them a little bit so that the insides are exposed and they can, you know, that the nutrients will leak out into the cider. Then I have one teaspoon of peppercorns. I'm just gonna sprinkle them down in there. And two cinnamon sticks. I kind of like to see those two. So I'm gonna go on the other side of that lemon Stick it down in there, stick it down in there. And then I have 
two sprigs of rosemary from my garden and then some fresh thyme. Those are both. They're just loaded with nutrients and antioxidants. I'm just going to put those kind of towards the top. I'm going to bend those a little bit. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So colorful and full of nutrients. And then all you need to do, I'm going to shake up this apple cider vinegar. And we're just going to pour it over the top. And you just want to make sure that everything is covered. So even if you have to press, you know, like my lemons are sitting up a little bit high. I'm just going to press them down just a little bit. Just to make sure everything's down in there. Because if you're... If stuff is sticking up above the layer of the apple cider vinegar, it has a chance of molding and you don't want that. So we're going to make sure that it's completely covered. And you might even have to, you know, use a little bit more from another jar if this doesn't completely cover everything, but it looks like it's going to make it. Yeah, there we go. All right, right there. All right, now all that's left to do is to put on your lid, make sure you have a canning lid, and just hand tighten it. And then every day, you're gonna set this on the countertop, and every day you're gonna come up and just swish it around. And that's really just to ensure that um, all of that stuff is gonna stay below that level, and it's gonna help release some of the the nutrients from those vegetables and herbs. So you're gonna leave this on your countertop for a whole month. So I'm gonna clear this stuff out and I'm gonna get my finished jar and I'll show you how to strain it. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our plant-based cooking made easy cookbook series are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. There's no denying the plant-based diet is a nutrient powerhouse, but did you know there are a handful of hard to get nutrients even well-crafted diets are often lacking? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why my daily health routine includes Complement Essential. Complement Essential contains the eight critical nutrients lacking from most plant-based diets in dosages optimized specifically for us. Plus, Complement is completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use code PLANTBASEDEASY at checkout to save 15% off of your order. All right, now let's strain it. So this is the finished jar and you see, you know, it gets a little bit dull looking by the time of a month. And some cultures actually take the jar and they bury it in the ground for a month and then they, they dig it up for like a special occasion, which I thought that's a pretty neat idea. All right, so I just have, I have a little canning, um, I don't know what you call that uh, funnel. And then I just have a regular, just a sieve type of strainer. You can do it with a, um, like a, a nut milk bag or something like that too. Anything you have just so that it will catch all of the, the fruits and herbs and stuff. So there's plenty left to do another jar. I'm just gonna show you just, this is basically how I do it. I would get another jar and then just put it in the strainer and then, you know, you can kind of press out, you know, press out your fruits and veggies and herbs. Just you get all of that juice out of there. And this is great, you know, you can just, you can just throw this on the compost. Some people actually eat it. They put a little bit of different vinegar, they put it on their salads and stuff. I'm not so much into that. I'm really more about the liquid part. So <laughs> that's how you do the straining. And then you just, same thing, put a lid on, just like that, and put it in your fridge. And this will keep for months because you're only gonna be really drinking about, you know, maybe a tablespoon or two or a little shot glass of it every day just to boost your immune system. 
So I'm gonna grab myself a little shot glass and I'll meet you at the table for a taste. All right, let's try our fire cider. Just got myself a little teeny cup here. You don't need very much, trust me. All right. Whew. That is good, tangy and spicy. Mm. All right, come on back next week for another great recipe.